We have installed two EVAs in the front uh, corners. You can see the light is blue, so it means they are operating. We turn, uh, we switch two EVAs, the front EVAs off, and the light goes red. I'm not sure if, uh, yeah, it can be seen there, and as well on this uh, second EVA. Now, both EVAs are off. Now we have other two EVAs in the rear corners, blue, so I can switch them off. The light goes red and the other light goes red. Okay, so we're gonna do some testing now. Uh, here we have the RTA. Okay, we are going to output some uh, a full range frequency and I'm going to show you what um, uh, how the frequency response uh, behaves when we introduce the AVA when we switch them on okay let's start We test the uh, just the sub calibration frequencies, so 30 to 80 hertz. Let's uh, reset averaging. This is what happens when uh, you um, adopt four AVA uh, in a room. Uh, the frequency response becomes much smoother. Um, I'm going to share also the uh, uh, frequency response 
results uh, with or without ABA, as well as the other uh, sound descriptors and um, RT60 uh, with four ABA becomes really smoother uh, compared to no, uh, no ABA and just acoustic treatment. And this one is with no ABA and no acoustic treatment. In this video, we're putting the PSI Audio AVAA C214 to the test in a real-world listening scenario. We'll play a real song and switch the AVAAs on and off throughout the test, allowing you to hear the difference in bass control, clarity, and overall room response. Pay close attention to the tightness of the low end and how the mid and high frequencies become clearer and more defined when the AVAs are active versus inactive. This test gives you a direct comparison of how the AVAA C214 improves a room's acoustics in real time. Let's get started. <laughs> 